The reason why narcissistic social psychopaths are always sabotaging others is because they do not want the kingdom of heaven, the most high God, to be exalted in any way, shape, or form. They love, if you've ever, and let me just give from my experience. I had a roommate. She had a mask on. She was using her cancer as a way to uh, pull at the heartstrings of unsuspecting victims. Then, as soon as you told her a boundary, which she knew was already going to be implemented upon arrival into that person's home, she used, still used it as an excuse for you to feel sorry for her or whatever, and oh, you're trying to evict me, da 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 da. So all her past, uh, her past uh, uh, losses would come into play. And so, <laughs> but within, this was in two months, I felt like it was two years living with this woman, this creature, this thing. So I had uh, shampooed the carpets, not because I was gonna get a roommate, I, I, I was absolutely the opposite. I was having some health issues from trauma, from gang stalking, uh, experiencing that. And so uh, I was cleaning, I had already had roommates, so I was purging their energy with bleach and sage. I was uh, meditating, I was, um, and I, now I know that my heart was being attacked. They were trying to cause me to have a heart attack. They were also trying to cause me to have confusion. This was the prelude to me becoming homeless. See, when you, <laughs> sometimes, when people bring you down to that level of uh, where they think that you're going to die and never... All right, so I'm at work. Um, but anyway, so it took two months, which felt like two years. And again, it was a prelude to me becoming homeless. It was the witchcraft that was being done around me. So everybody was pretty much sent as a... Uh, prepper in a, in a sense to prep me for you know losing my mind which didn't completely happen but anyway within two months this lady had bullied because I couldn't lay hands on her God knows I wanted to but sometimes God will not allow certain people to lay hands on others because we don't just lay hands we take we take we end you know, there's a fight. I want the finality. So, you know, that's what would have happened. But anyway, so within two months, though, she made my home after I had shampooed, bleached the walls, incense, I, you know, prayer and meditation. There was a light. I was starting to feel better. I feel, feel, feel good. She had literally created a cave and it stunk in my apartment and it never stunk like that before. Now, if those of you who are familiar with him, incense, H-E-M, from India, you know that those are super strong. And that's taking anything out, including marijuana, you know? So she was having her dogs poop in there. I mean, everybody was living as if they were savages. She was living like she was homeless in my apartment. So they try and prolong that, and that is not... This woman, I found out, like, oh God, I think it was two months ago, and we had already transitioned out of that environment, so it was two months ago that I found out, God revealed to me, that she was still attaching herself to me, because I was like, Mama, that's who I refer to, the Most High God, you know, the aspect of the Most High God for me, I said, Mama, why does it feel like sometimes, you know, all these health issues that I know I don't have? Why do, because this person is in my energy. See, it's not necessarily what you put in your body, but who's around you. That's it. It's not necessarily what you put in your body, but who is around you in your energy field. You have to be very vigilant nowadays, Phoenix is rising. Who is in your energy? Because if you start having signs of PCOS, and even if, well, let's say you got all these, you know, the timelines, and that's like, why does this PCOS keep coming up on my timeline? Why does fibroids keep coming up on my, my timeline? Why does, um, you know, cancer or whatever keep coming up on my, my timeline? Gotcha.
forgive the interruptions. It's going to be I'm at a concert. So, uh, man in the doors. But anyway, um, why is this sounding timer? Because this is what happened with me. And the Most High revealed it. And they'll try and get the most. They try and scramble your mind so that you don't get the downloads. You don't get intuition. They scram, scramble your crown and your third eye. I have had these guys. I've seen them in the spiritual realm literally siphon like Dumbledore. Right? When that scene in Harry Potter where he takes his wand and you know, takes out his memories and puts it in a pot, like something like that. So that, that's basically what they're trying to do. That's, the, that's, you know, siphoning or taking out or trying to um, erase their energetic uh, energy signature for the, the witchcraft or whatever they were saying and doing. But I watched them plug, you know, try and plug up my, my um, third eye. Uh, when I'm asleep, they'll tell me, oh, you're too old or nobody wants to listen to you or you're going to be alone and isolated. You know what I mean? So it's like that. this is the stuff that you're caked with. If you are already caked with, this is why I take you through the four steps. Reveal, heal, grow, show. And it's easy. Those are the ingredients. But you have to put in the extras. You have to put in the work. Period. And, um, you know, depending on how intensely you and, and honest you are with yourself and, and open you are to the most iron and revelations is, um, is how far you're going to go. I mean, like, I went very far. And uh, so anyway, but they will recreate their inward life, their spirit in the, the material. So my home, it was stinking. It was disgusting. It was dark. She didn't want the open sunlight. You know? I mean, she just was, like, taking it over, but she wanted me to pay attention to her. She wanted me to, you know what I'm saying? This is why I've said before in past, like, podcasts, if you guys have listened, I had Olga Texador, the pedophile, who, you know, was one minute I'm, I'm like their child, and then the next minute, you know, I'm their lover, and then it's, I mean, you want to talk about emotional roller coaster? It's an emotional roller coaster, but the reason why is because so you don't do, you don't show them up because they were, their ego can't take the fact that you, I wasn't supposed to live. They were supposed to kill me. You feel me? So because I didn't die and I'm still here, they're still holding on, right? So you have to be very careful who's in your energy and the way that you get to will acutely know and intuitively know who's in your energy is by keeping your spiritual pipes unclogged. And I can help you do that. If you want, PM, uh, DM me or, um, you know, go to some of my links. I think I got a few little mini courses there. If not, I will post them. Um, remind me and I'll do it.